What's up guys? I'm here to make a quick video about the uh, Yak Attack Black Pack, what I hate about it, and how I fixed it. Basically, um, you know, everybody's got their kind of uh, qualms about the Black Pack's price. It's nothing new. Um, I actually got a really good deal on this one um, through a little eBay special thing they were doing, like a 20% off coupon. Um, normally I try to buy stuff local, but local place didn't have them in stock, and I got it for like a hundred bucks on eBay, brand new. So, you know, the price is up there for these. Is it worth it? That's debatable depending on really how much each person values its usefulness and looks and all that good stuff. But I like it. I don't regret spending a hundred bucks on it. So there's that. Now on to the uh, little issue of what I hate about the, the black pack. And that is the noise. And I'm pretty sure that um, I'm not the only person that dislikes it as well, but uh, pretty much everybody, you know, as soon as you lift up that lid and you uh, close it down, even gently, it makes a crack noise. Um, especially if you're in a big plastic boat out in the middle of the water, it tends to make a even bigger noise or it tends to amplify it in the water, especially uh, potentially scaring fish, little children, whatever. Um, Anyways, so what I did is pretty simple. I took on the sides, like right here, right here, right here, right here. I just took a, some of the industrial strength Velcro and cut out some little patches and stuck them there. And that basically keeps it from rattling when the lid, we move it side to side. You'll see right here. I kind of wrapped them over a little bit so they didn't get pulled up. Now, I do suggest the industrial strength Velcro because it will stick to pretty much anything. And a lot of people have had difficulty sticking stickers and whatnot to these things. Um, it takes a little bit of patience in a hair dryer or heat gun. And uh, once you put a little heat to them, you kind of see that texture show up there. It's really easy to put decals on there and make them stay. But as far as the Velcro goes, the industrial strength stuff, you don't have to do that with heat or anything like that. Just stick it on there and it will not come off anytime soon. So that was how, I, that was pretty much where I started to get the uh, get the noise level down a little bit and that, you know, that uh, loud cracking noise, whatever, when it, you know, vibrates or shakes. Also, I cut out some little patches. Let's see if we can see that, there we go. And stuck them all along the, the front edge there and I stuck some on this edge right here. Now, the reason why I put them uh, right here was where this comes down, it does tend to move back and forth a little bit, just that whole nature of the, the bungee hinge. So I kind of put them there to kind of give it a little bit of extra contact point on the edge of that, but you'll see, shut that, it's nice and quiet. So. That was pretty much it. Um, go over a quick little thing here. Um, some people were curious about it. Um, some weren't, but whatever. Uh, this box actually fits my tackle perfectly. Uh, at least for kayak fishing, I use the uh, Plano 3600 boxes. These are actually really old Bass Pro branded ones, but they're, they're still Plano 3600s. But they fit perfect. Um, got my spinnerbait box there. And then I've got my bag for soft plastics, couple of tools. Um, the sunscreen and stuff like that, will they go in a, a bag on the back of the, my seat on my kite, but I've just kind of got them stuck in here for now. But this right here will hold an entire day, an entire tournament worth of tackle if you need it. Um, the 3700 boxes will fit in here. Obviously you have to turn them the other way, but they'll fit. But these are kind of the, uh, pretty much the ideal setup um, for me. Now, you can go into further customization. You know, you can drill holes, run bungees across where the boxes will stay stationary. I don't really have that issue just because everything just kind of happened to line up perfect. But it's there if you need it. Um, that is pretty much it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, they're welcome to comment on the video. But, uh, but you know, that's pretty much it. And that got rid of that, that noise. Every now and then you'll hear it if you, you know, close it really hard. But, but that was just one of the big issues I had because, uh, let me actually take this lid off and I'll show you what it sounds like. Really annoying noise. That, uh, it's one thing that I was apprehensive about before I bought one, and then definitely after I got it, I 
time this is going to be a problem. See that? Uh, flip it over. It's got plastic on plastic contact. See before, even even if you closed it gently, you still had that loud noise. So with the Velcro on it, it's nice and quiet. See? So. That's pretty much it. I was afraid that I was gonna to have to line like maybe the sides of it or something with like some uh, like sticky foam or something, but the Velcro seems to do the trick, just kind of covering those little contact points between the lid and the main body of the, the box. But there you go. And uh, one last thing, if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe. Um, this is kind of a shameless plug for my channel. It was monetized. It's kind of one of the little side hustles that a lot of us guys do to have, you know, jobs elsewhere. Um, it kind of helps pay for the hobby, keeps the wife off my back. But uh, YouTube has decided to demonetize any channels below a thousand subscribers and, and a few other thresholds, which I've actually, I'm over the thresholds of the, or, or over the other thresholds, but I still need about 700 more subscribers, something like that. So, uh, you know, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to have some other videos coming out uh, of a new PFD I got, uh, one of the Onyx Move Vent, Move Vent PFDs off of Amazon. Um, super good PFD for like 40 bucks. And uh, also, I am picking up my 2018 Jackson Big Rig here soon in the Thunderstruck color, which is not a super popular color. Um, so maybe I'll do a little walkthrough video of that. I'm a big guy, 6'4", 350 pounds, so... It uh, seemed like the perfect boat for me. I'm gonna get it out on the water, do a little walkthrough of it for you. Maybe do some videos of me paddling it and uh, let you guys see that. But like I said, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Um, if you don't want to, that's fine. No big deal. Have a great day.